Today, we're gonna to talk about how to build lasting relationships in the coaching industry. Stay tuned. there. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Brie Gunn of Brianna Gunn Enterprises. I am a business system strategist and marketing expert. And today I want to give you some tips on how to build lasting relationships with other coaches in the industry so that you can build a strong referral network, have those valuable relationships and really expand your network. Okay. So The thing is, guys, networking matters, right? Networking is so important. It's something that we do every day if we understand the value. So let's go over why you need to be networking and some ideas for where to network. And then we're going to talk about how to build lasting relationships. So first things first, networking is really important you cannot build a business in a vacuum. Okay. I know it's tempting to be like all for me, all for me, but here's the thing, guys, there are billions of people on this planet. There are millions of coaches and there's only one you. So the thing is when you are building your business, it is incredibly valuable to have other coaches in your corner that are in complementary spaces as you, or even the same space, because personality fit is a real thing in the coaching industry. And you want to make sure that you're having a really solid personality match with the clients that you get, right? You don't want just any client. You want a client that you absolutely love. So networking allows you to expand your network so that you can meet more people so that you can expand your reach so that when you go to find clients, it becomes a lot easier. So what does that look like? Well, networking is one of those things that can be done in person. It can be done online or it can be done as a hybrid. I'm a big fan of networking in person. Some events are coming back. You can actually get out there and meet people and shake hands. Networking is one of those things that you need to be doing regardless. Now you can network online through platforms like LinkedIn and Facebook and Instagram, or even through private networking groups like um, EBN or the Dames or... BFN or Mighty Networks or any number of networking setups. There's eWomen, there's Polkadot, there's so many networking opportunities out there. Or you can join networking groups that have in-person meetups but are online based so that you can get the best of both worlds. It's up to you, really. Here's the thing with networking. You have to put a little bit of effort into it. You can't just wait for people to come up to you and say hi and introduce themselves. You need to be able to reach out. So let's talk about how to build those relationships, okay? So the first thing you want to do is a genuine introduction and genuine interest in their business. What that means is you're going to be like, hi, I'm Bree. It's so nice to meet you. I see that you are a blank. That must be really interesting. Okay, I hope you're taking notes because this is good stuff, guys. The second thing you need to do to maintain the relationship is to continue those check-ins and those talks. In order to do that, you are going to schedule time to talk to them outside of that initial conversation. What I mean by that is after you've talked to them, set a follow-up sequence, whether that's you or your assistant check in with them on a regular basis. So you meet them, you introduce yourself, you get to know each other a little bit, and then you need to do the follow-up. The final way to build great relationships through networking is to keep being a connector, okay? That is super duper important. Keep being a connector. And what I mean by that is don't just meet the person, file it away, and hope they send you leads. Connect them with others that are good fits, whether that's other people in, the, in your network, whether that's potential clients. You want to continue to be a connector. Okay, so we've covered a lot in this video. We talked about the importance of networking, where to network, and 
how to build those relationships. If you have any other questions about networking, please drop it in the comments below. And before you leave here, if this video was helpful, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. It really helps us to create great content for you. Bye.